Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Free Open Office 4.1.11. So we're going to download the latest version. Let's open up the web browser and we're going to type into here Open Office. We're going to get to this website called Open uh, op Open Office here. Free and open, right? Free and open software. And we can click I want to download Open Office and you don't need any license or anything this is free software that you can download it's like having microsoft word excel powerpoint um, database as well all of these types of applications installed on your computer so you can use them for free you can even open up microsoft word documents as well and use them in within this software so we'll click this button here this green one here and we'll get these different options to download different versions so you've got 32-bit you've got 64-bit linux you've got mac os you've got all these different versions uh, so you need to select the relevant version that is right for your business or your computer should I say um, It's really down to you which options you select you've got different languages here and you've got older versions of open office If you want to select them I would recommend you download the latest version which has the software patches so We're going to click full installation here. You can download the language pack separately um, You know, there's different options in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click full installation it takes me through to this website. I'm going to accept it. And I'm going to wait four seconds. Yep, we have to wait a little bit. And it should automatically start downloading. So here you can see the download. It's starting to download. My computer is pretty fast. My internet's quite fast. So 129 meg, it will take you know a few seconds to download. Now that's downloaded, you see my downloads folder. I'm going to click on the actual application here in um, my browser so let's click on that and that, we can go ahead and minimize this and it should start the installation so Norton's has scanned it and said it's pretty good to go so we just wait a few seconds for the installation to boot up and we'll click next and we'll click unpack let's click the next button here and you can put your email address in and whatever you need to put in here put in your organization name and anyone on this computer can use uh, this software that's what I'm saying basically anyone on this computer that's logged in can use this software we'll click next we'll do a complete installation and then do you want to create these uh, desktop shortcuts I'll never have shortcuts on my desktop you always see my desktop super clean I like it to leave it clean and then put all my applications in here so I'm going to click untick this and then click install so we'll wait for it to finish installing and there we go let's click the finish button this folder is all of the content unpacked on your desktop you don't need it so you can just drag this into the recycle bin right click it empty and then you can get rid of that you don't need it and now when we click on here we can scroll down and we're going to go to O for open office so let's go to open office here and here you can see all the applications that are installed so you've got excel or equivalent of excel which is calc you've got um open office writer which is like microsoft word you've got impress which is like powerpoint and you've got base which is like microsoft access right so there's similar applications let's have a look quickly at the open office calc you can see it's very similar to microsoft excel using the same logic and the same sort of uh you know spreadsheet logic that you would use in excel you can use in this software as well and you can actually open up excel spreadsheets in here as well uh, they're, they're cross compatible let's say this is quite similar to LibreOffice as well i would say LibreOffice is probably a little bit better it's kept up more up to date but open office is still very powerful um suite of software applications that you can install on your computer this is how you go about installing open office very easy to do so there's no reason why you can't open up those word documents and those excel spreadsheets if you don't have those applications installed on your computer you can download this software and you can go ahead and start writing your documents and it's quite a powerful application to create content for your business or just on a personal use let's go ahead and close this down that's the end of this tutorial showing you how to download and install open office which is a free suite of applications that you can install on your computer it's the equivalent of having microsoft excel word powerpoint and microsoft access similar applications to those um, installed on your computer but for free okay that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial